Deion Cozy from Athens, Georgia, and he goes to Athens Academy. This kid is 6'4", 193 pounds, and he's ranked as a four-star by 247 Sports. Dion off the field. Um, I can honestly say that uh, when Dion was growing up, he was not the typical boy. And um, what I mean by that is he didn't get into trouble. Um, he loved sports. He's always been humble. He's always been the kid that tries to find the best in every situation. And I mean that from even when he was little. The aspect of making big plays, you know, everybody loves you know, going down the field on a vertical route and embarrassing the DB. Uh, that's just a great feeling for me. It's a high adrenaline rush. Um, I really like it. I really like just going out there and just making plays for the DB. You know, hearing everybody scream my name is just fun. Oh, oh, to talk about him is even more difficult because I, I actually think his actions and the person that he is actually speaks for itself. You don't really have to say very much. All you have to do is just watch him, see what he does, see the person that he is. That I can tell you, that's all you have to do is just see the person. Be around him, you see how he interacts with people, how he carries himself, and just, just an all around good kid. Ever since like middle school, you know, all my friends, Odell Beckham Jr., Odell Beckham Jr., like I just wanted to be different. I didn't walk around with blonde tips or whatever, and you know, I just wanted to be different, so I went blue. You know, everybody's like, ooh, he got blue hair, blue hair. Then it kind of faded away to like a green, so I rocked the green that's blue a little bit. And then when I got back uh, to high school in like sophomore year, I'd say I changed it back to blonde, and I've been sticking with blonde ever since. Just because, you know, nobody here got dreads, so I just like, Rock my style the way I rock it. He Go. started coming home from football practice and writing football plays. Um, and he would go right back to practice and he would give his plays to the coach and he would say, hey coach, we did, you know, we did this or we did that and, you know, I wrote this so let's try this out and see how it works. So um, when he started doing that, I think I realized that he had a love for the game, you know, not just running up and down the field. And then he was also uh, one of those kids where you didn't have to, um, you didn't have to place him. You know, when they start young, most of the time the coaches have to place them where they're supposed to be and hope they do what they're supposed to do. But he always understood um, his position. Actually, I saw that the first time I actually seen him get on the field. And it's, uh, it's amazing uh, what he was able to do at an early age like that. And uh, he was faster than some of the other kids. Uh, he studied. He paid attention to detail. It's just, uh, I mean, a very athletic kid. I can't really explain it, you know, since I came in as a freshman, you know, everybody woke me in, you know, with welcoming arms. Um, I stayed at a few people's houses because I, it was a long commute from McDonough, Georgia to Aston, Georgia. So I stayed at a couple families' house um, throughout, you know, my high school career. Um, you know, everyone here treats you like, like royalty, um, they love you, they love the football players, and they just, you know, love each other as, as people. So when we decided to uh, let him attend Athens Academy, of course, we came down to check the campus out, um, and then we brought Dion down and we met with um, his head coach, Josh Alexander, and we just really wanted to see what the drive was gonna be like. And so initially in his freshman year, um, he stayed here with another family, the O'Neills. I have to give them some love. Um, but he stayed with the O'Neills like maybe a couple of days a week and then we would drive him down the other day. So actually, um, my husband Frank would drive him to school in the mornings and then I would drive down and pick him up when I got off work. One thing I'll say about Athens Academy and everybody that we've met here, they were have been so warm and welcoming from the first day we stepped foot on campus. And we had several families that just really volunteered um, that if we ever needed Dion to stay, he was welcome to stay. 
Um, and so for the last couple of years, he's been staying here full time with his, uh, with his quarterback um, family, that's the Bush family. Um, and I will say it's been a godsend for us. It really has. So um, shouts out to the Bush and the O'Neill family. Um, I didn't really, you know, get to, you know, figure out where I really wanted to be. I felt like I rushed that decision. So I wanted to just back off on the commitment, um, you know, to weigh my options a little bit more and see, you know, where my heart really wants to take me. And yeah. I decommitted once because I felt like I rushed my decision and I wanted to weigh my options. But now I made the right decision for me. Go Irish. Irish. Yeah. He's the one.